Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another um, yeah, convention vlog actually. Uh, yeah, I know the last one is not too, uh, has not been like too far in the past. It was like Star Wars celebration, but uh, Michi and I decided to go to a, a German Comic Con and that's uh, in Dortmund. Ah, I can actually come out of the car. Yeah, my friends, Michi and Sato. And um, I mean, let's see if I can. I think the lighting was better in here. Woo. Let's see if uh, I, I can show you anything interesting or not, because it's not really toy hunting like Palooza probably, uh, but maybe there are some booths that have like vintage toys or something. But in general, like, you know, wearing cosplay, um, we're going to watch some panels probably, uh, just going a little bit shopping and just have a look and feel the like convention air, <laughs> the, the sweaty convention air. Um, I, as you can see, I'm wearing uh, my Peppermint Rose cosplay again, which I haven't worn in ages. I think I've just worn it for shooting back in 2020, so 2020, that's a long time ago. And I have uh, got myself a new hat. And if you don't know, Peppermint Rose is a toy line. So I, <laughs> I keep uh, like in the toy, in the toy uh, theming here still. Um, so that was the introduction. It's very sunny. It's very very nice weather. So let's head to the uh, to the hall somewhere, somewhere there. <laughs> She found BTS. BTS keychains, I guess. Oh. I immediately discover some vintage turtles. Very nice. Undercover Donino, I have no idea to be honest. If I'm talking about turtles, I'm just pretending to know anything. <laughs> Space Cadet Ralph, I think. Very nice. I mean the prices are not really my 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 turtle prices are <laughs> I'm cheap. Uh, okay, and here are the humans. But I think this is all I think it's a mix of origins and, um, and vintage. Like this definitely is a vintage one. It's a vintage Buzz. Buzz of Hordek, I think? Or Buzzak, I don't know what they're called. And these, this for example here is an, an origins. Is it an original one or is it a Origins? I have no idea. It's probably an Origins. Because the price just says 45. I'm guessing it's not a vintage one. <laughs> Also here, I think a mix of... Oh no, that could be all vintage ones. There's a Frosta in the back. And Pika Mice from Mars. I mean, the castle grey skull is new, so it's not vintage. Don't touch! 
Hausschuh ich davon aus, dass wir für die Haus haben. Ja, aber wir haben gerade auch das. Ja. Don't touch. How should I? How should I be able to look through those bags of these all of these loosey goosey action figures? I can't if I am not able to touch them. You <laughs> Arwen. <laughs> But you could you could argue that this is Princess Leia in her wedding dress. <laughs> Because Arwen in her wedding dress and Princess Leia in her wedding dress are looking like really similar. Leia's wedding dress exactly or almost looks like this. Yeah. It's just in a comic or in a, in a book or something. But yeah. Oh, I spotted a popple. Can you see it? There it is. And there's another one, the pink one behind the SB whatever it is. I'm wondering if there are more girls' toys at this vendor. Mm, a turtle's puzzle. Nice and colorful. And what's that? The gummy bears. So something from the gummy bears. I think a board game or a card game. Uh, so cute. Uh, the price is not exactly cute. 60? Mm. Thank you. Bye bye, Popple. It was nice to meet you. Oh, also this huge box bar uh, box Barbie camper, which by the logo and by uh, Barbies I, that I can see, I guess it's um, late 60s or early 70s. I think it's the... Is it the Malibu Barbie on it? Uh, I think it's early 70s, but yeah, so not really my, not my price range, not my size range, not my Barbie era, but cool to see. And of course, what you're gonna find is like lots of new stuff at comic conventions. <laughs> lots of uh, Star Wars Black Series, but here and there, some vintage figures still on cart. Robin Hood, that's the toy line from the early 90s from the Kevin Costner movie, I guess. Uh, nice to see, all in really good condition. I had no idea about the prices because I'm not that interested in them. Uh, but I was pleasantly surprised about the amount of vintage stuff there. Uh, you know, 90s Star Wars stuff from the Power of the Force 2 line. Always nice to see. Oh yeah, and lots of funny pins from Masters of the Universe <laughs> over the Flintstones up to Disney, all of that stuff. Now here was, I was hoping to find some more girly stuff in the, tucked in the back there, but there were just some like stickers. Uh, I mean, they are cute, but uh, don't need them. <laughs> And an old, I don't know, space gun toy. This to me looked very interesting because I had no idea what it was uh, when I went there. But I think these are old Japanese um, model kits, you know, for all sorts of robots. I don't know, maybe Gundams or uh, I, I'm not that familiar with those. But the boxes looked cool and had all like written Japanese over them. And uh, to the left, same vendor, there was more Masters of the Universe. and. At first, when I see it, I'm always just like, uh -huh, is it just Origins again? But like, these were vintage ones and I was really drawn to that modular. The prices were definitely better than at the first vendor with all of the He-Man stuff. Um, I mean, still, I would like to pick that stuff up at flea markets for like dirt cheap instead of paying 30 euro for a modular. But I think that one was definitely complete with lots and lots of parts. And that was a Stinkor. I would really like to know how Stinkor smelled. I mean, I know it was like patchouli scented, but I've never had like one in my hands that really smelled like anything. And I think there was also an Orco. Ah oh, yeah, there it is. One day I definitely want to pick up an Orco. It's just, it's just a cute figure for the Motu line. Oh, nice old um, SNES games. <laughs> Super Star Wars. Yeah, Super Star Wars. Yeah, 
was a Lord of the Rings game, I had no idea. How did it look? It actually looks pretty fun. Interesting. I watched so many like uh, retro game YouTubers and I've never heard of a Lord of the Rings game for the SNES. Okay. <laughs> and Origins. It's everywhere. But I'm pretty sure these are vintage actually. I like the Modulock and I do like the Oracle. so many different masters of the universe Funko Pops. Mosquito! Kira. And Robinaut again. And Robotech. What is Robotech? I have to say, I don't know Robotech. There's even more. A lot of Robotech. Yeah, I can put this one in there. Swamp thing. Okay, boring looking character, of course. Kenner, yeah, it's Kenner. Kenner aliens. Stargate and Star Trek. No, oh well, yeah, it's something Star Trek. Small soldiers. Wow, interesting. Line. I have no idea. Action for us. <laughs> there we have our um, a British G.I. Joe version again. I just want to have a look at this Wolverine X-Men. Because it looks, it looks minty. The box looks like brand new, but it's toy biz, so it's from the 90s. Tarzan 
miniature play sets. It's, it's, it's a toy line from the 90s. It's just like, one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, Pixel Dan has like in, in his most recent videos always talked about kind of wanting co to collect a couple of pieces from that toy line and here's one of the miniature sets. But by the way, like here's more of this Robotech thing. There were even dolls. Super interesting. She's got a cute dress. Donna Sterling. Wow. I have to I have to admit I have no idea what this is. Like it is a is, is it an anime an old an old anime or is it something that's like localized to 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 fit the American market or wow. Ah, no. Street Fighter fell. I'm sorry. Tut mir leid, ich konnte mir nicht Es ging nicht anders. Hmm. Pinkie Pie Pop. And not, not the Sea Pony version. They are, whoa, they are crazy, crazy prices now. Whoa, whoa. 60 for a Pinkie Pie Funko Pop. Okay. Oh, there's a bin of. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm looking. Oh, I'm seeing Jar Jar. Jar Jar. Oh no, he's missing his eye. Oh no. But it's also one of the micro machine sets, I'm pretty sure. You can't open him uh, again. Same as us. We were not able to. My gosh. What else is this? But this is like. Um, like the 2003 turtle line, I think. Min miniature um, Casey Jones. And here is Star Wars, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, what, 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 what is that? What, what is that? Yeah, how? How can they fight? There should be a button to push. Ah, sorry. Like obscure and strange and funny and silly. And it's it's not Jar Jar, it's Captain Tarbis, but it's uh, almost as good. There is his eye, there is his eye, there is his eye. It's there. Jar Jar. I want this Jar Jar. I bet you can open him. It's one of the Micro Machines ones. A lot of figures in there some really cool ones I just I I don't know do you just can you just buy this as a bulk it's like more rogue one this is all rogue one I think Beach is taking stock up photos of me <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, Michi, look, look, look. The small figures that I showed you. That one, you oh, found, yeah. found one of the Darth Mauls in, um, yeah. in uh, Nerd Base. I mean, they are a little bit like squinkies. My friend Cotton Candy Kittens told me about them. But they are not really by the brand, same brand as squinkies. They are um, really done by Hasbro, I think. And, Oh, so many super small ones! Yeah, really. There's so many! Yeah. As if Ahsoka! Oh, sweet! 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 Cute! Like, I wonder, can you can you buy them separately? Or is it just get get the whole bag? Or what, what kind of deal is this here? Because I really, I really want these two. I really need them. Yeah, his eye is there! <laughs> Maybe I just need to... Uh. I've never seen the super cute jelly set. 
it's 2002, so like early Y2K era of Barbie. And I mean, I don't even see Shelly. It's just these, the swan and the turtle. There isn't even the Shelly included. But like, super cute, very adorable. So far, one of the only girly things I've seen here. But I'm happy with this. Ah. The G4 version? G4, yeah. I have no clue about these like official My Little Pony um, comic runs. Snack time! Yeah. Not my size. <laughs> For a troll, it's actually quite cute. Barney. Is this um, is this from Fraggle Rock? I don't know. Could be Fraggle Rock. I mean, the big plushie in the back there. And comics. Wow, there is in fact comics at a Comic Con. I'm impressed. Nice, car the toy biz. I kind of like them because they are so colorful. They are just so freaking colorful. I mean, I have no idea about the prices, but they are probably expensive. Just checking on how my head is like. It's, it's not falling off, I'm surprised. Because I remember when I did the shooting with this cosplay in 2020. I mean, I had a different hat. It's like a new hat. It was always falling off. But I was clever and have this rubber band. Even the super cute Care Bears oh, purse is this adorable. Do they have the My Little Pony version? Probably not. They even have lounge fly ears. Vintage Star Wars, yeah! I think I have them all, <laughs> no. No, I don't have this one. Then this vendor showed me this amazing uh, Starburst Shira on card. You know, I'm not a carded collector at all, and I've seen Shira carded already. But it was nice to have it in hand, so not just behind glass. I love to see the back card, like all oh, this amazing artwork. So lovely. Sure, hefty price tag of 250 euro, and I'm not in the market for that. But that was the only girly thing he had at his booth. You know, I always ask everyone in case they have something that they don't show. But usually, you know, they have their Star Wars, their turtles like these. It was also nice to have some uh, vintage carded turtles in my hand. I, I've seen them. I've just never had them like loose like loose <laughs> out of a you know a cabinet in my hands. Really nice but you know I would prefer some you know poly pockets or some ponies there instead. They just don't bring this stuff. I asked them oh I have this uh, uh, I, I sell this but I ha don't have it with me. Why? Just also bring it to the convention. There's also women who want to buy something. Froster. Uh, every 
everything knocks, or everything falls over. Skeletor, it's from the 2000X line. Ah, and now I have the price sticker of Frosta on my hand. Ah, it's eight. At first I was like, oh, is it Marmista? No, it's actually not Marmista. It's Frosta. I have Frosta, but I think mine has way more green hair. What country of origin is she? Does it say somewhere? interesting for me what's that tons of oh my goodness grab bags and oh my goodness magical girl ones and ah, and more Shira and more he-man and everything that's that's nice I, I oh my goodness where should I start what are these for me for my very very small turtles collection and she's like eight which is a price that I would even like pay at a flea market so I'm, I'm happy with this one she's not in the super best condition like the turtles logo is a little bit worn off but I mean like I cannot spend the whole day at this booth
goodness, what's happening? <laughs> Marvel cosplayer, Marvel cosplay meeting or something? characters in some of these bags it's like rebels mall visago the seventh sister not bad old captain rex can he oh i like the canaan i do have canaan I don't even remember this guy. He's the Grand Inquisitor. I actually like this kind of array of characters in this bag. Lots of Rebels characters that I don't have. I have Hera, but I don't have her with this, um, whatever this flight helmet suit is. I think she comes from a big um, uh, Starfighter playset. actually a Lando, the version that I don't have. It's vintage and it's with the cape. I'm not sure if this is like, this is his cape, but I mean 15 is not that bad, I guess. We all know Barbie outfits, but have you seen action outfits for is it actually for big gym or is it a general action it's gi joe oh no it's not gi joe it just fits gi joe mr action and other 12 inch action figures there's another one it's like kind of clone clone 60s gi joe outfits nice i actually really like this modular box it's an original it's, it's cut, I guess, because it's actually, you know, the horde symbol is uh, cut there. It's not the full box, I guess. Maybe it, maybe it always looked like this. I don't know. It's 60. What is this? It says... Features original Star Wars music and sound effects. And audio publishing. I mean, it's a book. It's an old book from the old expanded universe. I actually read this book. I know this book, The Courtship of Princess Leia. But like, eh? <laughs> Is this an original old G.I. Joe packaging? I guess. I wish I could just open it up. How is it? It's really like an old Barbie box. Yeah, he's in there. Nice. 
even with the like it's complete with all of the original inlays and all of that very very cool what have we here oh my goodness all like fashion packs for like Lone Ranger and stuff like that. Yeah, it's Lone Ranger. This is all like 60s and stuff. My gosh, I mean the G.I. Joe as well. Here's a big here's a big gym outfit. Ha ha! <laughs> Do we have a date? No, I don't see a date. But it's either 70s or 60s. The boy counterpart of Barbie. Special operations tent. I mean, it's nothing else than what, you know, girls got from Barbie. I love the big um, dino riders. I think this is the biggest one. I mean, just for size comparison, here's my hand. This is like really big. He's missing all of the, um, you know, add-on armor and stuff. Oh, there's actually another uh, vintage bus of the universe box for Spider. Also the slime thing. Oh my goodness, I found something Ewok, Ewok related. Oh my god! Ewok Village. Look at this. Presto Magics. Is this something like you color it in and then you can stick it onto the landscape? Oh, I want that. <laughs> it's probably expensive. But that one doesn't have a price sticker. It seems like it's very, very heavy. Probably everything's inside. And what ah, behind there is something Power Rangers. Which absolutely you cannot see from the front. What do we have here? Endor Forest Ranger. It's all like original vehicles. Star Wars and blah. And actually here's the slime pit. The Masters of the Universe slime pit. What is this power ranger thing? Is this a board game? Yep, it is. Oh, I love the artwork. I have like <laughs> no affiliation to the power rangers, but this looks amazing. Oh, there it is. It's just 15. Are you kidding me? I'm getting this. No, no questions asked. 15. I don't know where to put it. Oh my god. This is like exactly my, my new Star Wars collection thing. Oh my goodness. I didn't see the sticker. It's, it's 15. 15 euro. Piece of cake. Of course I'm getting it. Oh my goodness. Planet and the Planeteers. No, I don't see the Planeteers, but <laughs> oh. Ah, it was light here. Space command. 
Oh, I just discovered two baby boglins. And these are the bigger ones. These are the finger puppets. I like it. What is this? Is this like a Mighty Max knockoff? Yeah, it is. It's something like a Mighty Max knockoff. Not bad. I would rather pick it up like if I would find it at a flea market than here, but... Viewmaster uh, reels are in here. I think loose ones and also carded ones. Uh, it's all it's all Viewmaster, yeah. Okay, they still did it in the late 80s, early 90s, yeah, I guess so. Aerial 101 Dalmatians. Oh, there's a Barbie one! Oh my god! Okay, judging by the Barbie on it and by the logo, it must even be mid-90s. A Barbie Viewmaster reel? I, 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 okay, I didn't know that they did that. I don't even have like a thing to, to like, you know, the machine, the Viewmaster machine itself, but... By the way, if you feel that my voice sounds strange, I'm a little bit under the weather. <coughs> Not that the weather is bad, but I'm a little bit sick, but just a little bit. Masters of the Universe. Ooh, that's 2000X, I guess. This old here, this is really like comic. It's, it's German. It's German. Die Giganten des Universums. Okay. Mask. What else is here? It's more. It's ah, it's a sticker album. Ah, this looks great. I love it. It's so colorful. Ah, sorceress. She wants a sticker. Is he sleeping? <laughs> I love it. And it, it's all German. Ah. It's all the filmation, like artwork. Not all, but a lot of it. This is actually a really cool piece. If you're collecting for masters, I would definitely buy that if I would be a like the bigger masters collector. And they oh they have they have two more. They have for Transformers. Oh wow. This is complete here the picture. And even like holographic, I mean makes sense with the Transformers logo. I think this is not, not complete, but it's almost complete. Wow! The Dinobots are in there. And the other one is, is Ghostbusters. 
people used to belong to Timo. <laughs> Oh my goodness, shiny, shiny holographic. Why, why is it always just those series? Why, why does he not have a My Little Pony one? Or, or a, I don't even know which toy lines, which girl toy lines had like these sticker books. There's more, this seems to be like cards. What is this? This is Sailor Moon, I guess. Yep, something Sailor Moon. Is it like a, folder or something I guess so hey friends well right now there's two clips missing I, at least maybe three clips that I cannot find on any like of my memory cards or I don't know what happened and it's actually really unfortunate because there was one clip where I actually bought the most expensive thing of the day and it's not on camera at all uh, at the vendor where you saw me uh, seeing those, you know, Ewok um, rub and pray, play transfer, uh, like board game thing and the baby Boggleins, etc. I also picked up a very, very uh, expensive Masters of the Universe figure. You will see it in the haul, but uh, at least here is like, I bundled it together uh, for a, for me, good price and I bought um, the Sorcerers. And right after that there's also another clip missing which is the start of some of the next clips that, that uh, come because uh, at one of the booths I found a glow worm you can see it here but it's I just have like two seconds of footage of it I bought this glow worm for a really good price from a really 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 nice vendor and then we, we started talking like vintage toys etc and he told me that he has something else with him He says he has some My Little Pony. Oh my goodness, look at that. I mean, I can see some 53 in there, but there's definitely My Little Pony bag. Oh, it's G3 and, and some others. Let's have a look. Oh, amazing. Some really cute ones. There's definitely something G1 in there. And there is G3 and some fakies. Some Leonard fakies. And, oh, I've never seen one of those Leonard fakies. And in, in the middle, I think this should be... I cannot really see, but I think it's um, flower bouquet, to be, to be honest. And then obviously Lily Lightly is in here, and then uh, Rainbow Dash G3. I cannot see. No, it's a, it's a different pony. Oh my goodness, what is it? A white pony with blue hair? I'm confused. Is it a is it the nether is it a Dutch starlight? I don't think so. I cannot see. Can I open up the back and look inside? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what do we have here because this is actually one that I've never seen. This is also a vintage fakie. I think it's also from Leonard. They are amazing. And we have this Rainbow Dash. G3 Rainbow Dash, very cute one. Some G3 yes, yeah, little mini like fakies. That. I've never seen. Oh my goodness, yes. It is a very, very rare pony. Oh my, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's, it's a Dutch pony. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, my heart is pounding so loud. Wow! And some cute Leonard fakies. And this is Lily Lightly. Oh my god. I don't know if he's really like knowledgeable. And I've given him my car, so... A cute thing. How much are they? Like how much? Do you or do, do you just sell it as a complete? No, no, no. no. no, no. Just, yeah. just in between. Um, so yeah. What are the prices? I have no clue. I think in between two euros and three euros each. Okay. So yeah. Um, I'm honest with you. 
and I would give you a little more for this one okay. because I know it's one that um, I don't have and I you have my card if you see my yeah, YouTube yeah, yeah. then you will know that it is one that that can be a little bit more thought after because I think it's a Dutch one ah, okay. are you from the Netherlands yeah, or somewhere? Yeah, yeah, we are. So, so it makes sense so it's the one that I would not find in Germany for example oh, okay cool so it I, I don't want to like be mean and say like ah, okay three euro when I know this is a little more okay. so uh, would you be willing because this is a fakey but I've never seen one of those so it's not a real one but it yeah, looks yeah, very yeah, funny yeah, yeah. the other ones I do have or they are fakey so, oh, okay, so okay, yeah cool, cool. Okay. I would I'm 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 obviously not like giving you a hundred but I would say are you okay with like paying 15 for the two of them then we had 15 for the for the uh, yeah, your sure, worm sure. then then that's sort of the fun that's amazing yeah. because that's one it's really rare that i find ponies that i don't have because like uh -huh. i've like i don't know 400 ponies or something like that Ooh. and like i'm i'm like i never had a dutch one so okay, that's, that's cool. really really cool yeah, cool oh my goodness They just wanted like three or two euro or something like that for it, but um, I gave them my card so they will watch my video and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna be fair. I'm gonna tell you that this is one of the more rare ponies, especially like in Germany because it's a Dutch pony. And I offered them 15 euro, 15 euro for the fakie and the, I always forget the name, I think it's Starlight. <laughs> the pony and they they said yes and we had a lovely talk they are so nice they, they have a little daughter that likes my little pony right now she found it at a flea market and we also talked about King's Day and which I've never visited but my goodness I can't I just can't believe my luck Now I'm meeting up with Michi and Sato again and Philip, but they kind of are not there yet, so I'm strolling around again. I spotted some keepers. The owner says uh, they're not priced yet, but tomorrow they will be, so it's probably the first thing I do tomorrow, come here and look at the prices. Die ist noch teurer, wow. Selbst der Karton ist halt super mega hübsch gemacht. Ja, das stimmt. Das hat und holographisch. Oh mein Gott. They are way too expensive for me. And I'm, I think I, I'm not really super interested in them, but it's so amazing to see them in, in real life. There, she's like 350, and a rarity is like 250. So Fluttershy is even more expensive than rarity. I think also her box is also even bigger. Oh my gosh, I love rarity. They're made by Kotobukiya, and they're not directly like. Um, uh, referencing like the, um, the Crossrail Girls or something, they're just the ponies in like anime style human form. They, they, they are like, well, it's a B Shoujo series, yeah. So, I mean, I would not say no if I would find one for an affordable price, but 350 and 250 is like, way too expensive for me, obviously. Hello, everyone! Say hello! Hello! hello. <laughs> If you didn't notice, it's the next day. I'm looking like completely different. And um, I don't know, probably I will put it together in one big video, I guess. Um, yeah, we're wearing our uh, Star Wars cosplays again. Mon Mothma and uh, Val. And let's see, let's see what we can find today. Today is also a small Star Wars panel, so let's have fun. Ah, <laughs> Queen! <laughs> glitter, glitter! Ah. Is it a hand puppet or what is this? 
Okay, there are the keepers again. But A, he forgot the uh, cat one at home, so there would be only the um, the penguin left for me. And B, he wants 50 euro for an empty and like this colored keeper. So not really. Wonderful! Cheers! Cheers! why we're actually doing it <laughs> there is just there's a scene in, in, in Andor so in the um, in the TV show where they they have this party and I mean not not even my character but like Gucci's character um, and they're drinking some drinks and they apparently it's this Chandrillan specific drink where they put a worm into it like a white ugly and it apparently tastes awful um, but it's like a Chandrillan custom special thing and uh, so we brought some um, plastic champagne glasses and mixed it with um, Schweppes. I mean, it, honestly, it, I like it really. It, it um, tastes like mojito but without alcohol and we put some gummy worms in it and they, they, they make this fizzy. So I think they are the best thing to to kind of make it look like a real <laughs> deal. <laughs> Cheers.
of the last things we did at Comic-Con was uh, watch this panel, which um, it featured three amazing Star Wars puppeteers or like performers. They are building, you know, the suits uh, of the creatures and they are also performing them. So inside of droids or big like Star Wars creatures. And the panel was really, really interesting. 30 minutes to check them over and try to figure out what you're going to do or learn your lines. So I, I was fortunate enough to get the script ahead of time, but only my scenes. Yeah. So they would have, I would get a paragraph on this page and a paragraph on this page. And so I could kind of, I didn't know what the story was. I, and so when you get there, you're relying on the director who knows every. And the only way it was built, I, I can't bend over. Like I can't pick something off the ground. And one day in the, um, in the story, uh, Ewan McGregor drops his lightsaber and he's going to be burned in f like flames. And the director's like, oh, well, Ned B, you can just go over and pick it up for him. And I was like, no, Ned B can't go over. <laughs> and they're like, well, can you just try? And so I remember being outside, everyone is watching and I'm like, I'm looking at the, my, uh, my helpers. I'm like, what am I going to do? So I, I walk over and the lightsaber is there. And I have like this much range of motion, so I like move my leg. <laughs> and I go down and I'm actually able to grab it and Deborah Chow was like, we're gonna think of something else. <laughs> bye bye Comic Con. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> hello. And hello. <laughs> Now we have to catch our train and then everything's fine. <laughs> and I guess I will make a separate haul video because I bought quite a lot. So I guess I'm gonna see you next video sitting at my table and showing all my stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. See you soon and made the toys and made the force be with you. Bye!